Hey folks, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. So first off, grab these notes. Second off, grab these notes. Grab the Kimbokum. Here we go. Mr. Vile. This is legitimately extremely hard, Jiggy. Basically, it's a mini game, three mini games, all based around the same concept, and they're hard. So basically, uh, you gotta eat yumblies, uh, press press E to uh, B to bite. If you're not biting, you don't actually eat the yumbly. First one, pretty easy. Like it's uh. Basically a matter of running around, getting the umbilies, getting more than him, being fast. Uh, the biting momentum, I realize that's a really silly thing to say, but biting momentum. When you bite, you have momentum, and it can screw you up. It makes it hard to steer. You can see some shoes in the back. Uh, if you get fed up and decide to come back later when you have a new move, uh, they make things easier for you. But, uh, not gonna do that. Real men do, don't, don't do that. So yeah, first one, pretty easy. Not a problem. Second one, a little tougher. So basically, Pay attention to what you're eating, folks. That's a good advice for life, honestly, but just, yeah. It's a matter of getting in the way, basically. And there are fewer reds, basically, so uh, it's harder to get a huge lead on Mr. Vile. Mr. Vile is faster than you, and he also pushes you out of the way, so gotta have skills. Pay the bills. And uh, I believe biting does give you a bit of speed. So, uh, yeah, use that to dash ahead a bit. When you see a chain of jumblies, just go for them. Alright, so this one can go to hell, basically. It's completely down to luck. I uh, don't even try to deny it. Completely down to luck. Uh, if you're near a good one, uh, Ray, good for you. You might win if you're lucky. But basically, it's all about where they spawn and whether or not you're nearby. Uh, there's those shoes in the back that can help you uh, if you're lucky. From what I understand, it's still pretty dang hard, even with the shoes. So as you can see, I'm getting almost kind of lucky, sort of. Uh, if you are in the middle of eating, uh, while it changes, too bad, uh, you get stunned. They won't give you credit. Oh hey, I did it. Well, it took, I don't know, four tries. Yeah, that, that's a hard, hard game. No. No, I'm not going to play it, Mr. Vile. No, I'm not playing it. No, I'm not playing it. Go away. Stop it. No, I don't care. No, go away. I don't, I don't even want to shut up, Mr. Vile. Yeah, Mr. Vile, I don't like him very much. But, that takes care of the hardest jiggy in the level. And all things considered, it's not that difficult. There are further... There are jiggies later in the game that are more difficult. There are jiggies in the sequel that are much, much, much more difficult. Um, but yeah, we can... Uh, Let's go explore as, as Mr. Crocodile Alligator Guy. Ooh, there's some health. I'm gonna grab it. I don't care if it's not on the way. There we go. 
Yeah, every time you lose, Mr. Vile uh, takes away some of your health. It's annoying. Now, let's see, were there notes back here? I don't remember. There's health, though, that's fine. Nope, those are eggs. I don't even know how many notes I have. I kind of stopped paying attention once I started fighting Mr. Vile. See what I mean about leaving health around that you don't need? You'll need it later. And no, that paddling sound is not annoying. What are you talking about? Alright, so first things first. Hooray! That's our last jiggy. Ow. Way to ruin my victory dance. Twice. Come on, Mr. Mosquito Dragonfly, whatever you are. Come on, you chicken. Ow. What a jerk. But, yeah, it looks like I'm missing a batch of notes. And once again, I don't know where they are. So... I mean, there's some notes over there, I know. But, um... That's, that's not nine notes. Camera kind of stocks here, too. So, once again, I will edit the way to when I find those last five notes. Here we are. Should have known I would have forgotten these. Along the wall. Back, uh, back where I think the blue ginger was or something. I don't remember. Yep, that takes care of all the notes, all the honeycomb, all the jiggies, and maybe all the mumbo tokens. I don't know. I got plenty of them. So now it's just a matter of trekking back to the exit. And you do want to stay transformed uh, for the exit, because, like I said at the beginning, uh, there is something that only the alligator can access. I don't know if he's an alligator or a crocodile. Look. Let's see if we can get a shot at the snout. What does he look like to you? Because I can't tell. I don't even know what is the defining characteristic. It's just something about the snout. Up. 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 See, that takes care of Bubble Gloop Swamp. I still like it a lot, although Mr. Vile and can now go to a deeper layer of hell than I previously cursed him to in my childhood. Goodbye, Bubble Boop. So oftentimes you'll have to bring a transformation outside the world uh, in order to access something sometimes mandatory. Actually, it might always be mandatory, I don't remember. Probably. But there are select times where Mumbo's magic does not run out. Uh, until pretty far away. He's a weird radius, not a perfect circle. And he will climb on up here, go through this pipe, and what do we have here? A bad camera angle? And Cheeto. Shush, Grunty. Basically, Cheeto pops up every so often, I think three times. Gives you a, a cheat each time. And blue eggs. It's our cheat for here. Basically, he gives you ammo expansions. I'm Shush Grunty, and now I'm green, and basically any reason to choose you over me would be null and void. Anywho, we gotta head to Treasure Trove Grove, Cove, Grove, whatever, uh, to the same castle. So, I will see you there for a neat little cheat code. Uh, 
Alrighty, so here in the sandcastle, we just gotta enter the code that he told us, blue eggs. Which is so easy. Where is it? I don't even know. Actually, where the hell is that? Oh. There we go. Now, unlike when uh, you first did the Banjo-Kazooie thing in here, you can repeat the same square of the letter. So, a little simpler. Doesn't keep track of the squares that you've done, but, yeah. You're not gonna lose track. And now we basically never have to worry about eggs ever again. And I think, I don't think you can enter the code until you talk to Cheeto, unless you do alternate methods. But, whatever. Next time, we'll head to the next level, Freezy Z Peak, and I'll see you guys next time.